Hi, it's Out of Darts. Today I've got a new original design for the Rival series. This time it's not a blaster, it's not even really a blaster accessory. I give you the Nerf Vacuum. I know somewhere out there there's a 12 year old that did a design for a Nerf blaster and vacuum and it seemed like it was a little clunky and didn't work that well, but uh, it definitely um, was something I was considering when I was making this. The Ben Heck Show also did a really cool little uh, uh, Roomba modified so it could suck up darts. Uh, what I find is that a lot of the games I play, I find myself squatting over and over and over, and it's just exhausting, and I find my knees after a long day, day of play are just screaming at me. Uh, some of the typical burn games I go to, I run like a maniac back and forth, and, and a lot of the times uh, I'll log 15 or 20,000 steps on my iPhone in a single day just playing Nerf. It's great for the exercise, uh, but it's not so great on my knees the next day. This is the prototype. It's definitely a work in progress. I'll do another video in the future when I have the time and capacity to do a uh, 3D printed version of this, which will be much cleaner. I'll probably replace the blower with a uh, EDF uh, jet instead of this larger marine blower. Uh, essentially, the way this works is you've got the standard polycarbonate tubing that I've had in my other design. A simple tip to suck the balls in, a little on-off switch, and a marine blower. And uh, inside this elbow, there's a little nail that stops and allows the darts to go inside, and then a hopper. The whole setup is airtight, so when the balls flow forward, rather than going, um, getting sucked into a corner or sucked through the fan, they actually end up going, dropping right down into the hopper. After the hopper is filled up, you can take it right off and you can use it to uh, put right onto one of my rival blasters, or you can just simply dump it into a bin for refilling another blaster. Uh, I use this constantly around the shop and in the garage here where we're working because we're always shooting blasters at the walls and I haven't built a catch yet. I'll definitely do that in the future. And it works really well. I'm really impressed with it. In the future, I definitely plan to build a much larger capacity hopper, probably 500 to 1,000 rounds. And that will also be part of a refilling system so I can really quickly refill my tube system or refill potentially regular blasters along with the uh, proton pack. It has a simple on-off switch. It's extremely effective at picking up balls and it's lightweight, it's very portable, and it's really completely usable in an actual game. Uh, we've tested it in grass, we've tested it on asphalt, which of course works the best, but it also works even in the mulch in the backyard. Uh, I'll definitely have some improvements for all of that in the future and I'll make it even smaller and more lightweight. I hope you enjoyed this early prototype video. Thanks for watching. If you have any design ideas or improvements or questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Until next time, I'm out of darts.